Hey guys, welcome back to Blake's Collectibles. I'm Blake, and today I have a mystery box from Toy USA, and I have a quick unboxing of a Entertainment Earth um, box that came today. The Toy USA, this is they released this like three days ago. This is from their. This is not from their uh, Days of Grail that they're doing right now. They posted this up. It was 40 boxes, a uh, damage box with four pops, and there was some. Po they showed pictures of what was the. It was a one in four chance of one of the grails they had posted, and there was a few up there. I can't remember. I know there was a. I'm pretty sure it was green flock Scooby Doo, and I'm trying to remember the others, but I kind of. I can't remember off the top of my head, but so. That's four pops in there, damage. With Toy USA, it's usually very minimal damage. And this is something that I've had on pre-order for, I think, back in July or August. I, I want to say. I'm not sure. But this is going to go um, with my Batmans. And hopefully, I've never... I think this is the first time I've ordered from uh, Entertainment Earth, to be honest with you. And this box is literally just big enough for that pop to fit in there. So, I mean, at least they put some bubble wrap in there. Alright. It looks like it survived. I, I know I have seen um, on Instagram and Facebook... This is the Batman, the Joker's Wild. Um, Joker is Wild. Entertainment Earth exclusive. And this is a really cool looking pop. Um, and I was surprised I saw this ship because these were supposed to... I was almost sure that these weren't supposed to come out till January or February, it had said. But it's going to go good with my... Um, all the black box Batmans I have that I'm accumulating. The only one I'm missing, one day I might get my hands on it, is the uh, pink chrome Batman. I'm I'm looking. I keep every time I see somebody doing a mystery box with them, I try to grab one. But the main uh, reason you guys are here, this is the thirty dollar Toy USA damaged mystery box. Now, and if I remember correctly, the pictures of the pops, I think they were in, most of them were in soft protectors. So, but this is a damaged box, so they're not always going to be, usually they don't put them in protectors, and from my experience with Toyosa. And this box is, okay. But, four pops... And I'm, this, I don't think this will be double boxed because there's, there's supposed to be damage. Let's see. Got bubble wraps. I should have went from the bottom of the box. I don't feel any that are in protectors, so we'll just start and let's see. Let's pull this one. This is the back of the box. Alright, and we got a <laughs> somebody with a crooked head. The first order of Flame Trooper. This is from Star Wars. I believe this is from the um, first line that came out with either the Force Awakens. Yeah, he's just he's falling out of the box here. But I can take him out and fix him. That's not that big of a deal. Um, damage. I. It's got a few scratches, but like right here, there's. Looks like somebody hit it with a box opener, maybe. I, I'm not sure. It's got a little scratch there, but not too bad. I mean, I collect Star Wars. Not many of them. I try to keep it. Um, Limited, and that's where he fell off of his little stand. So let's fix the stormtrooper real quick. Oh, we got him in the box. 
This is a flame trooper. If we can get him on a stand. I thought these were usually the only ones I've had that come off their stand was the uh, the older one. Like my Han, he comes off easy, but I didn't think they came off. I thought they were glued onto the stands. There you go. He is back in working order. If I can get him back in there. He came off in. We'll set him aside. I'll worry about that later. All right. So we have three pops left. And the first one, well, this is the second one. And we got Ken, Street Fighter. Uh, Ken from Street Fighter. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure on the values of any of these so far. But this is probably the cheaper on the cheaper end. I'm not sure. I don't know any of these. This is a definitely a cool pop. I grew up playing Street Fighter. Um, just, I don't, I don't really collect many of the, um, of the game pops or nothing, you know, from video games, but it's pretty cool. I might, I think my friend collects them, so I might, um, might have to see if he's interested. But, so that was number two. We got two more left. And the third one is, go. Okay, this is Findu Chomp Limited uh, Funko Shop exclusive. I don't, I'm not sure which one this is. I know there's been a few of them. This says this is the from the 20 year fun anniversary. Um, and let me check box damage. I I don't see any damage. Let me check Ken too. No damage here either. So. My daughter's going losing her mind out there if you guys can't hear. Um, so, and for our fourth and final pop, and our last one is Sark. This is uh, from Disney's Tron. This is a limited glow chase. Um, that's a cool pop. Another one I'm probably not going to, I mean, I've, I've watched the, the movie Tron when I was a kid. Um, it's not one of my favorites, so... I'm not sure if I'll be holding on to this one either. Um, I'll be putting the values up like I do always. So for 30 bucks, I'm sure I got my value back here. Um, everything, you know, I got three exclusives here and one common, which is not bad at all. So um, did not hit one of the pictured pops from, you know, the that they were their grails chances for those. But not too bad overall. So that's my little mystery box video for today. Uh, hit the like button if you like this one. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see my new videos when I drop. When they drop. And leave me a comment if you got this box and let me know how you guys did. Until the next video, bye guys.